Helene here in Miami at the FlexCast Arena being joined by the great, the legend, the one and only Mr. Junior Dos Santos. Now you will be making your Eagle FC debut this Friday. The press conference just wrapped up. You heard some great news from Habib about if you do get that win over Jorgen on Friday. And how's your experience so far? I mean, I've seen that smile all throughout the press conference. Yeah, I'm feeling great about that. You know, that was a, a good good thing to hear <laughs> that to, that I can maybe fight uh, Emilianenko Fedor. I'm a big fan of him, and uh, that would be great to to fight him. But now the focus is on Jorgen de Castro. Uh, I like everything what I've been seeing uh, of him. You know, he's, he seems very confident for the fight. You know, and that's the type of energy we want to see because that's that type of energy ma that makes big fights. So I'm coming 100 100% ready, always looking for that knockout. Uh, you know, you cannot expect any difference on that. But uh, the most important, uh, I did an excellent training camp without any pressure, without thinking about uh, the external, just focusing on my thing, you know, and have some fun with, uh, with my friends, with my partners, with my family. So I can say I'm ready. And do you think that is the key to your longevity and all the success that you've accomplished in your career, your family and having fun and always smiling? Yeah, that's true. You know, being a fighter is kind of a very hard. People don't understand. The, 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 but once you decide to take a fight, it's not just you. Everybody around you is, is, is getting involved with that, especially your family. So it's a lot of pressure, a lot of depends on the, 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 the way the preparation goes and uh, how things work. Everybody's under pressure. Everybody's suffering with you, going through uh, pain, going through injuries, going through uh, mental uh, issues. You know, it's uh, it's hard. It's heavy for everybody. You know, and this way, I, I wasn't feeling like this. I wasn't feeling like like that. I was uh, having fun with my family, having fun with my partners, and in working hard, training hard. So I said, man. That's what, that's the type of uh, of thing I want to show to the people out there, you know, that I'm still here and I I, I have so many uh, great things to, to to do inside the octagon, you know. And then this Friday, you guys will will see a lot of that. And I know all your fans can't wait, and I love all that positive energy that you're exuding as well. But like I mentioned, you accomplished so much in your career, former UFC heavyweight champion. So how do you want your legacy to be remembered? Uh, uh, a guy that is always moving on, you know, never giving up, you know, that's the truth, you know, whatever happens, there's many, many people with opinions out there, but they're not here, they're not doing, normally who, ha who has a lot of opinions about you and bad opinions, normally they're not doing anything <laughs> better than you, you know, so you can all hear about them, you know, I, I, that's... The, with all the experience that I've been, I've been going through this this last times, you know, I, I understand a little bit, a little better myself, and a little better the world I'm living, you know, the world I'm I'm uh, I'm working with, which is the MMA world. So it, it feels good to be in the position I am right now. It, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna get. I, I've been learning a lot. But it doesn't mean I'm going to get there and have the best performance of my life and win everything. It doesn't mean that. I ju it just means that I understand myself and I can, pro I can uh, 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 demand of myself uh, the best of me, you know, inside of there. And I, can, I know I can deliver it. So let's do it. Yeah, very well said. And it looks like you have so much more to accomplish because, I mean, like we know this Friday against Jorgen de Castro and then what Habib said about Fedor. And I know you mentioned as well that you still want to box. So it seems like you have so many more goals. And I mean, we're going to see a lot more of you for many years to come. Yeah, that's true. You see, like a like few, few months ago, I was thinking maybe about the stopping fight, you know. I was wondering with my fellows, should I keep going or not? And now I have this fight with, with a great guy, Jorgen de Castro. Maybe a fight with Fedor, I just knew it. I just <laughs> had that information. And also, uh, my one of the my, my biggest goals is to have boxing fights as well. So you see, so many things to do. Life is amazing. And uh, that's why I, I always say, you know, stay strong and always keep moving forward. Which boxer do you have in mind, though, ideally, uh, to make a debut again? Well, uh, I had a, uh, I, I like the conversation we had with Triller to, for me to fight Kubrat Pulev. I think it would be the first a great. It wasn't. It, would, it wouldn't be pure boxing. It would be yeah. triad, but uh, it would be very close against some a, a great boxer. 
who he has two losses. The only losses he has is to Vladimir Klitschko and Anthony Joshua. So, man, high, high level. You know, that would be a great entrance in the boxing world for me. But, uh, man, of course, my, if we have to put the focus, we got to put the focus on the biggest ones, on the, the champions, you know. So Tyson Fury or uh, Alexander Yusik, uh, you know, those are the guys who everybody put their uh, target on their back. So, I, I'm, I, of course, it's a kind of a, uh, maybe too much of me to be thinking like that. But that's that's how I, I got here. You know, one day I was dreaming about fighting La Millionaire Fedor, and that's why I got here. And maybe now I'll do it. So, yeah, we, if you dream, you got to dream big. Yes, definitely. John Jones, another great fighter. He's about to make his heavyweight debut. How do you see that going for him? Ah, I think it's great. You know, John Jones is... He's an amazing fighter. He's uh, so exciting, you know, to, to watch his fights. And now maybe he's going to fight Stipe Miocic in the UFC. That's, uh, it, it sounds very good to me. You know, Miocic is an amazing fighter as well. So tough. So I think it's a great welcome for John Jones to the, the heavyweight division. You know, and let's see how it's going to be for John Jones because uh, with a little more weight on that, uh, <laughs> on that uh, body and also his uh, reach advantage and things like that will be very effective on the heavyweight the heavyweight division is a little different you know so uh i'm very interested to see that and i can't wait actually and lastly when you mentioned tyson fury do you think that he and francis and ganu that fight will get done i hope he does you know uh, because uh uh back in the day i wasn't having a good um uh, f good feeling about that because uh, you know Francis Ngano, um, he's a he has a lot of power. His skills are boxing skills are you know, of course it's a more for MMA. But uh, in a boxing match against the guy who you know Tyson Fury we are talking about, I, I didn't see him. Uh, I, I saw a lot of trouble for him over there. You know. But, uh, of course, a big opportunity, especially to make money. But now that I heard it's going to be on MMA gloves, so then it, it's much different. And Francis Ngannou has bigger, ch bigger chances, you know, to get that hand, you know, connected and win the fight. So it, it got much more interesting. And I, I, I hope it can happen. And I'll be rooting for Francis Ngannou to be Tyson Fury for sure. And for all your fans who can't wait to watch you this Friday, Eagle FC 47, what would you like to let them know? Well, I'll let them know that I'm ready, I'm happy, and I can't wait to be in there at the Octagon, you know, giving 100% of me for you to, to, to you guys enjoy. And I'm low, don't remember, uh, don't forget, I'm always looking for that knockout, and I'm coming to knock Jorgen the gas route.